According to Joe Rogan's friend, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson is actually not black. Well, news to me and news to Dr. Dyson. Here's the clip, Jordan Peterson says it in his own words, here it is. Depending on who you ask, either you're a voice of reason and rationality and and uh, you know uh, personal responsibility, or you're a voice of intolerance and bigotry and anger and hateful sexual uh, oppression. What did Michael prejudice. Eric Dyson call you uh, an, a mean, mean angry an, white mean, man? Yeah, and and a mean angry white man. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You're not mean at all. Yeah, yeah. That's what's dumb about that statement. It's you're not mean at all. It's I uh, am white. Actually, that's a <laughs> lie too. I'm kind of tan. And he was actually not black. Your he was because I'm I'm darker than you. Yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, but neither of us are white. Well, I'm Italian, and mostly. he was brown, not black. Well, isn't that weird? Yeah, this it's really the, weird. The black and white thing is so strange yeah, because like the shades are so tan and brown. There's such a spectrum of shades of people. Unless you're talking to someone who is like. 100% African from the darkest place where they're not wearing any clothes all day and they've developed all that melanin to protect themselves from the sun. You know, it's even the term black is weird. It's a, mm. it's a, and when you use it for people that are literally my color, it becomes very strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. not stranger than two white privileged men debating on who should be black or not. <laughs> not more ironic than that, I promise you. Well, Dr. Dyson, a scholar and a gentleman, responded. He was on Don Lemon's show, here it is. You know, uh, you would hope they were joking because if they weren't, this uh, exposes the vast lethal ignorance at the heart of so much whiteness, whether intentional or not. Um, we all know that black is not a phenotypical reality. We're not talking about a genetic predisposition toward darker skin. We're speaking about an existential context. We're talking about a philosophical idea. We're speaking about rooted cultures in deep histories that have vast traditions that have generated complicated identities. And we know that blackness in terms of its identity ranges from vanilla vitality to chocolate charm. And all, all ranges in between. So it's not about shade. It's not about um, a kind of inherited characteristic of race. Race is, as we've been arguing in school, and I would advise Dr. Peterson and Brother Rogan to take a class. When we talk about race as a social construct, what we're saying is it's not about a biological determinism. It's about an inherited set of beliefs that depend upon a society to imbue it with meaning. And therefore, it's not simply about who you are, your skin color, your hair, your shade and tone. Now, while they unsuccessfully challenged my blackness, they damn sure proved their whiteness. Indifferent to history, oblivious to truth, and indifferent to reality. You know, when somebody breaks it down from the rooter to the tutor, it's not much more you can say. I guarantee you Joe Rogan won't be inviting Dr. Dyson on his program. He would never allow the opportunity to be upstaged in such a manner. He will continue to invite his very um, misguided. I know I'm being nice, but very misguided friends to continue to talk about who's black and who's not. Uh, Jackson, what are your thoughts on Dr. Dyson? Yeah, well, you know, obviously he very eloquently stated everything that needed to be said. But, you know, my overall thoughts on Jordan Peterson, other than obviously him being very white, is, you know, like generally he's just a guy with self help. That actually can be rather beneficial to people who are just looking to improve themselves. But like Michael Dyson said, you know, this conversation really exposed. It's just two white guys thinking way too hard about things. And this is actually pretty common. You know, it's not just yeah, them. You yeah. come across people who think like this all the time. And especially someone like myself who's very light skinned. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of people who, you know, like you know, will say I'm not black or you think you're black and you know, stuff like that, which, you know, don't mean nothing to me, but just a general reflection of not really understanding what it means 
You know what I'm saying? And for other people who do, like they just know what's up. You know what I'm saying? So like they're just two white guys being white. You know what I mean? Yeah, very white. 